We've had a good trip on the reef today. Lucky enough to get a nice trout, and I'm gonna show you how to recover the most amount of meat off it. This isn't so much about how to fillet the fish, but how to recover the wings and the cheek meat. First of all, I've gotta knock the fillets off. Now I've got the two fillets off, I'm gonna cut the wings out. And you start by opening up his gills. And just do a little cut around in front of his petrol thin, separating the gills from the, what we call the wings. Now in here, there's a little bone just there. And you've got to get underneath that. So the knife just goes in underneath that follows that through. A lot of people try by going straight through. There is no way to go straight through. You must separate that bone. There, all fish are the same. You can, once you find that little bone there, and you follow it through, you separate the, the wing from, from the head. Now there's one rib left in here. It's easy just to get a pair of snips. And then the uh, stomach lining just separate that off the inside of the wing there. And that one's free on this side, and we turn him over now. And do it the same again on this side. Just pull them gills forward. And make that cut separating the gill from the wing. And there's that bone there. Just go under that like that. Follow that through. And there's where that rib I was talking about. And again, separate the stomach lining from the wing. And at the front here, all you've got to do is turn that around two or three times. And you'll be able to cut that off. So that's what we call the wings. Now you can uh, separate that and make two pieces. So to split them, you can do this with a knife, or you can do it with the snips, but if you do it with a knife, you must get it dead centre. Put your first cut down in there, and then put some pressure, and the cartilage in there separates. And then you can cook it like that. We actually completely separate it, so you've got two wings. I use the snips to trim your fins off, more convenient the fry pan. And there you have it. Two coral trout wings. And they're absolutely beautiful. You can do this with any fish, all our barra, jacks, we, we don't waste wings off any of them, we keep them all. Now if you like, you can scale it and cook it and have crispy skin, but we just like to use rice flour and fry it up, which we'll show you later. And the next piece to cut out is his cheek. And this is the sweetest piece of meat on the fish. So you run your finger around here, you can feel the soft area where the cheek is. And his bone runs around there and around there. So we're just gonna cut that out. Start at the eye. Just gradually work your knife around that soft area. So 
So that's the first one out. I'll roll him over and do the other side. There's the second one. And to finish off, I'll trim up the backbone. There's the backbone. Again, we'll flour that up and fry that up for dinner tonight till it's nice and crispy. It's no waste. So that goes with the wings and the cheeks. And what's left is the head and tail will go in the crab pot, so nothing's really wasted. Hopefully we'll convert them into a nice mud crab. Now we've got those uh, coral trout wings, cheeks and backbone that we got earlier. And now I'm going to give them a bit of a dusting with some rice flour. Give them a good coating and all over that backbone. ready to be fried now. So we like the oil fairly hot so we get it nice and crispy. And always cook your wings flesh side down to start with. Same as the cheeks. If you put the skin side down they'll just curl up in the ball. The cheeks will probably cook in about half the time as the rest of it. Yeah, that's looking good. Coming nice and brown and crispy. Just give them wings a little bit longer, they're a little bit thicker. Make sure they cook. So those cheeks are done. And you even get the uh, coral trout crackling as well with the uh, crispy skin on the other side. We call them trout nuggets. Now these uh, wings are ready to be turned. Just nice and golden like that one. A little bit more on that side for that backbone. Nice and golden brown like that. And the wings are done as well. Some trout goodness there. I like to eat the skin. It's part of the trout. It's nice and crispy. Even with the scales on, it's, it's become a delicacy. Yummy and crispy. Mm. A little bit of salt and pepper on. You do have to eat around the bones, but it's, it's certainly worth it. It's hard to beat that for fish.